back to classic car cave. So, uh, this side is the one that Amir made up uh, some time back. I think it was a year or more. Uh, and he's made up this side now. So, <coughs> it's all fitted up. This edge has just been taken off. You can see where there's some corrosion on it. And uh, Amir's making a new one for it now. But this, this uh, boot uh, floor fits well. This is only screwed together with some self tappers at the moment. That obviously all has to be welded, but we have to get it in line with the rear valance as well. So that's where we're at at the moment. And Amir's making a, a new one. This is, uh, this is the original one. Um, and you can see this is quite badly dented and a lot of these um, captive nuts here there were actually the threads were gone in them and there was a bit of corrosion especially on the edge here so he's actually going to make a new one but I guess that I bet you any money that's too small right yeah yeah so I see some angle iron or whatever but that's the that's the piece that's going on and you can see how the edge was corroded there as well so yeah, it's coming on very nicely <coughs> um, once we've got these in they have to be uh, slightly cut down here once they're all in um, they're actually made of two pieces of steel and then welded directly to the side it's all got to be cleaned up of course um, get this back piece in and then we can fit this uh, rear boot in and I think we're going to have to cut those down a little bit as well those threads for the exhaust they've just been taken off at the moment so they're not in the way yeah and well, once we get that in um, we can start looking at this tunny and exactly what we need to fabricate and cut That's quite quick. Well, there you go, it does work. Well, read the instructions, I guess. There's the uh, order of the day. Two side pieces in now, they're bolted in position. So basically, they were cut along here, you can see. These holes here are the original holes we cut when we took off to get the original boot floor or the, the drop sides. So all this is brand new all the way along there. And you can see the same on the other side. See it's all brand new. And as I say, these holes here was where we just uh, took the, the spot welds out, but we've drilled them right through so we can weld it on the outside. Um, so you can see there's the two new, the two new bottom base panels on either side. Now these are made of two pieces of steel. You might be able to see it here on the edge. And then they've been welded all the way along. And then they're welded onto the car and all the, the edge. So these tacks here uh, are not holding anything. They're just holding the plate, stopping the plate from flicking up. Uh, because obviously the top on the, on the boot plate comes across the top here. So it's a very slight angle. And you'll see that when we get to that point. Uh, this has been completely brand new made. The original one was is here. And as you can see, it's quite badly damaged and deformed. It just wasn't worth the uh, built up a completely brand new one. And there's the battery box. Again, this isn't welded yet. None of this will be welded. It's just got self tappers in at the moment. And you can see here which is where the bolts go in. So basically the, the, the two sides, the bottom is the only thing that goes in and this this spare wheel well goes in afterwards. It goes in uh, after the car's painted. It's back on the chassis and you put it in separately because as you can see it goes into that space there, into that hollow there where the tank is. That's why the tank shaped like that. So uh, today we cut down uh, the inner wings because we'd 
repaired them all and um, there's a few areas where we need to very slight fettling on it because as you put the tonneau cover on it's catching uh, so we've, we've recut these wings down and relieved a, cut a few relief cuts on it but generally it fits pretty good now uh, so there's a bit of tidying up to do in there oh and this is a little thing I don't know if you guys have seen these or not but these are uh, These are just uh, little chrome magnets that we use from time to time to hold bits of metal together. And what we did is we have this buzz bar um, that we use for going behind. You want to do some welding there, they're great because you can just pop it on the on the back side and use it as a heat sink and because being copper it won't the weld won't stick to it. So you can for instance you know, something like that if you wanted to start to cover that hole up or long ways. That's the way to get rid of holes. This is this is needed, obviously, it's a drawing. Um, and what we found was <laughs> a sheer luck, but these magnets actually fit through those holes. These, this is obviously off a buzz bar. So, for instance, if you wanted to, uh, I don't know, if you had, a, you had a hole here on the side, you could you could basically do this. I'll get the other one. I'll show you what I mean. So you could actually, you could have put the buzz bar on like that. Now, um, Randy at uh, Lone Star Mini, he's bought a brass, oh sorry, a copper plate like this that has the magnets already laid into the copper, which is a brilliant idea. I'm going to find out where he got it from. But that's the same kind of thing, and it's just for sheer luck that the holes happen to be roughly the right size. But as you can see, you could use that, and then you wouldn't need. You wouldn't need two hands. Not perfectly tight, but that's not it works. So there you go. And as I say, it's alright for down the way. But sometimes you need two hands, you know, to try and keep the copper bar behind while you're actually welding is a bit of a problem. So there we are. We're getting on really well. That's all together. Um, so the next thing now is to uh, get this tonne absolutely set up right. We, we need to buy some captive nuts um, for the side here for the wings to go into underneath. This is how they would normally fit on. Um, so I'm looking around now to see if I can find a, a cage with a square, square nut in it. Because um, what we need is a little bit of wiggle room left and right, a few thou um, when we put the, put the outer wings on it. So there we are, we're getting on. Uh, yeah, there's a few, quite a few bits to do. These two back areas have got to be uh, welded and lead loaded and so on and so forth, but it fits up. So what we do now is we dry fit everything, uh, probably with just self tappers, um, fixing screws, and then just see how everything lines up so we know it's in the right position, the right shape. And then we go from there. So on that note, I'll uh, I'll uh, catch you on the on the next video, and um, and, and show you where we're going with it. So stay safe, keep the faith, and enjoy your hobby. Take care.